scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to his work in me till Christ is formed in me no eye has seen no ear has heard what God has prepared for me so I submit to his work in me till Christ is formed in me Paul said my little children of whom I travail until Christ be formed in you if you submit to the bidding of the Spirit you will be surprised to see the kind of glory that will be revealed in you the Bible says there are bodies celestial and there are bodies terrestrial it says even among the stars one different from another in glory you may not differ in size but you can define glory that glory that excels Till the Christ is formed in me Till your glory is revealed in me Your wisdom rests on me Your favor at work in me So I submit to your work in me Till Christ be formed in me Number three. The third and the final charge for this time that we have to share together is the value of spiritual empowerment. This is the last thing I want to talk about. In our training and our equipping, as we contend to lay hold on eternal life in experience I have given you three keys that represent irrefutable kingdom secrets they are ladders that transit men from realms of defeat and weakness that you become a tremendous person of capacity like the mighty men of David the power of a systemic prayer life then how to derive value from the word through your study your hearing, your speaking. Don't forget this. Then now number three, the value of spiritual empowerment. Most people do not know that to fulfill our kingdom assignments and to advance the kingdom in general, skill and human abilities can only take us so far. When it has to do with advancing the purposes of the kingdom, when it has to do with fulfilling your God-ordained assignment, please have this at the back of your mind that skill and human abilities can only go so far. There is a limit to which skill can go. There is a limit to which your ability can get to. Hallelujah. This is where 
the supernatural comes in this is where the value of empowerment comes in Luke chapter 24 and verse 49 very quickly please Luke 24 49 he says and behold I send the promise of my father upon you but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power the one who is talking to them had given them information revelation but he said that is still not enough you tarry until you are endued with power you need more than a message you need more than an information you need power most believers have the message but they do not have the power to back and to validate the speakings they have been given in Acts chapter 4 and verse 33 I love this scripture the Bible says and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace was upon them all great grace was upon them all hallelujah when we talk about the power of God when we talk about the anointing please understand that this is not an exclusive reserve to preachers pastors apostles prophets and so no the reason why pastors apostles and preachers seem to be the ones manifesting the anointing is because they are the ones who have the greatest consciousness of it because of the nature of what they do they are aware that if I do not have the anointing things will not work well but the anointing was never in the in the temple everything was anointed everything your business is value but it must be anointed to prosper supernaturally are we together now yes I have learned from scripture I have learned from history I have learned from fathers and I have learned from experience that your Christian experience is only going to be a recycling of pain and embarrassment if you ignore the value of spiritual empowerment please listen carefully you do not have to be a preacher to desire spiritual empowerment you see you cannot produce God's dimension of result using the strength of the flesh God's dimension of results cannot be produced using the strength of the flesh. He says, by thee, I can run through a troop. By my God, I can leap over a wall. How do you run through a troop as one man? Ask the mighty men of David. He stood in one position and brought down 800 people with a sword and the sword refused to leave his hand. Can I tell you, do not downplay what the power of the Holy Spirit can do in the life of ordinary men. We may not seem like much in ourselves, but not after the power comes. Samson, before the arrival of the spirit of might, would act like a normal human being. If Samson was macho, Delilah would not ask him the source of his strength. He was a mysterious man. When that power would come upon him, he would remove a city gate and climb a mountain with it and sit there. How about Elijah who ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab even down to Jezreel? The Bible is full of mighty men, Gideon and his 300 men. Jesus recommended the, the, the endowment with power to the disciples who would later become apostles. And he said, tarry. If Jesus tells people who he mentored, tarry, I know that I taught you, but you'll be surprised if you just be on your way going, you will return back with sad testimonies. Tarry, I have taught you, and everything I've taught you is true, but tarry until you are endued with power. And then the Bible says, now when the day of Pentecost was fully come, I'm not sure they knew what they were expecting. They just got up that morning wondering, wow, Pentecost, so this Jesus will keep us waiting here. We're not going to go and celebrate this feast is day 50 now suddenly suddenly the bible says there was a a a mighty rushing wind a sound from heaven will you blow 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory 
cover us with your wings will you blow 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory cover us with your wings upon that weak person blow 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory upon that dying family blow 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory do you know in genesis chapter 1 and verse 2 the bible says the earth was dark and void watch the spirit of god the custodian of the power of the godhead the administration of spiritual power resides within the office of the holy spirit darkness tohu wa bohu confusion and chaos and the bible says but the spirit hovered round the face of the waters now that power was available and god said and he saw that what he said was good and god said and he saw that what he said was good the ultimate test of spiritual power is found in verse 2 down to 4 when you say and you see and it appears and it is good you have power the zenith of spiritual power is the ability to declare when the centurion came to Jesus and Jesus said I'm coming to your house he said no I may not know much but by reason of my military experience I know this much I am a ruler under the Roman government and I say to one go and he can go and to one come and he can come I know you are under the authority of the government of heaven speak the word only and he said I've not found such faith in other words who taught you this who taught you that this is how the administration of power works in the kingdom that from one location you can stand one location you can speak to your house one location you can speak to your family one location from one location elijah did not need to go to a radio station from one location there shall be no rain over a period of three and a half years listen to me ministry is going to be frustrating if you do not value spiritual empowerment can i tell you the truth it takes power to be wealthy it's called the power to get wealth not just the common sense to get wealth it takes more than a right mind to be blessed and the bible says strong men retain wealth because retaining wealth is more serious than getting it the easiest part of being wealthy is getting it retaining wealth is proof of power it says strong men retain wealth it takes power to ward off the arsenals of darkness over your family that want to come and destroy everybody you've heard people they, they would say ah, our father was a pastor and he died without achieving anything say unto God how terrible are thou in your ways it says through the greatness of your power shall your enemies submit themselves are we together a man woke up one morning and just felt a slight pain very slight pain just like a needle pain around his legs and he just smiled it over and said what is this this pain and by the next time he would sit down he could not stand up straight again this is a true story and his um what they call this thing the kneecap started shaking and vibrating on his own i'm not a doctor i don't know what that meant and he called for help and all of a sudden they started diagnosing this man and they started bringing all kinds of things that from a medical standpoint i was told should take a long time before it degenerates to that state and it happened within a short time because it was sponsored by the presence of his spirit jesus said ought not this woman being a daughter of abraham whom satan has bound these 18 years can i tell you sincerely ladies and gentlemen 
in this end time hear me if there is no manifestation of the possibilities of the kingdom in and through your life the nations will not place a demand on your grace I can tell you that there is a growing hunger across the earth to see the power and the glory of God displayed once again and power takes more than falling down and standing up the ability to correct the ability to create to establish things in the lives of people Isaiah 61 we're ready to pray the Spirit of the Lord is upon me the Bible says because the Lord had anointed me the word anointed there is to legitimize to ordain to preach good tidings to the meek listen carefully he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted all by the anointing to proclaim liberty to the captives all by the anointing and the opening of prison to them that are bound all by the anointing verse 2 it says to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn still by the anointing to appoint unto them I like this one you know what it means to appoint to name the day of their deliverance and victory to appoint unto them that morning Zion to give them beauty for ashes I was teaching in Lagos and I told them beauty is a gift you can give a man beauty that you look at a life that has been battered and shredded into pieces and you come in the name of the Lord and give the person the gift of beauty rewrite the narrative of their family no job no rising no nothing and you come in the name of the Lord he sent me to your home he says every house that you enter if there be a man of peace and they open the door for you he said let your blessing your peace rest that means no man of God and no saint of God walks empty there is always something that goes with you and when it is received it can rest upon people is someone learning I learned the value of spiritual empowerment and I made up my mind that I was going to contend for it as I read the books of T.L. Osborne Charles and Francis Hunter E.W. Kenyon Papa Hagen Reinhard Bunker, name them those we call God's generals and the fathers and those that have set the pace for us that we had an opportunity to see their lives possibilities beyond imagination I watched one of um, what's his name now one of these this 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 healing evangelists I can't remember his name now it's not one of the popular ones and there was a growth on someone's face and he just held it like this and peeled it the same way you peel something like that just removed it ah. may God restore us oh. may God truly restore us because there are dimensions of power that this man accessed in the spirit that we need to pray that the Lord will grant us that grace not for the purpose of self-aggrandizement but that there is a need to validate the speakings of God once again upon this earth are you aware of the kinds of sicknesses it's been a burden in my heart in the last maybe two three months that because God gave I had an encounter and God began to speak to me about the restoration of the healing mantle back to the earth I hope you know mantles do not leave the earth no they are there but there is a level of alignment that the Saints must assume these men were people you would read their stories and you would think it's an exaggeration I know I was told that Archbishop Benson either host of blessed memory they once brought someone for him with a twisted face and to pray for the person and all he did was he told the person look up and when he looked up he said God this man was created in your image if this is how you look leave him like that hmm. don't stand before Pharaoh until you see the burning bush these were men who walked like gods upon the earth I remember watching one crusade of Charles and Francis Hunter and they were picking people out of wheelchairs as if they were relocating them to act a film and they were laughing I said look how frustrating this is 
but a generation will arise some of you you've seen it in your dreams some of you you've seen it in your visions it's time for the things that you have seen to come alive and to be made manifest in your life in, do you know what it means if you carry the healing power imagine your father and your mother think of your loved ones forget about a crusade ground just think of your loved ones someone suffering from prostrate about to die someone suffering from cancer and now you come in the name of the lord jesus christ you step into that family with the confidence of a trained believer holy holy blessed is he who comes in the name of God. hallelujah you know many years ago in this area i've shared the story i i think it was a lecture i can't remember now somebody somewhere and i went to go and pray he was on a wheelchair i think something happened whether a degenerative disc or one of these medical conditions and now they heard that god was using a gentleman called joshua selman and with every sense of honor and passion they said please come and i went there and they gave me their rapt attention they gathered the whole family and the children i preached a powerful message on the power of god but the problem was that it was now time to demonstrate it and and the man on the wheelchair you know a man maybe in his 50s or 60s then you could not say he did not have faith he was paying attention nodding and saying amen and then i laid my hands on him in the name of jesus this same jesus that i've preached sir rise up in the name of jesus absolutely nothing happened absolutely i prayed i prayed i believe that i had faith if it fails it is never god i took responsibility and went back there is something i do not know let god be true and all men liars i'm showing you the attitude of a winner by the time you just have to roll i'm not god you would never be able to walk in certain levels of the anointed you must shrug off the shame and go back open my eyes there has to be something the mortuary in shika there i have entered that mortuary to pray for a dead body the anatomy lab in abu uzaria have been left in that lab to pray for a dead body and while i prayed none of them came back to life but i was happy i did because you never live the same there is something about your fear live letting it out what is making you afraid there is a way you will stand and stare at it you will find out it didn't have the power it claimed to have please listen carefully we're wrapping up I remember praying, fasting, and crying, and said, Lord, I listened to John A. A. Allen, and A. A. Allen said he went to the Lord and prayed and cried and said, What is the secret of the miracle working power of God? Because he read his Bible, and when he read it, he tried to practicalize what he read, and absolutely nothing happened. And you see, in the world that we live today, people are already enlightened it's not like before you can go somewhere and tell people jesus can move and he doesn't touch them the next thing you see a caught someone and somebody will say you you abuse them emotionally by lying to them <laughs> church there's no time to play games again we have to stay with god and hold on to the four horns of the altar until we carry substance the substance of genuine provable spiritual power hallelujah i remember it was in this same zaria then phones just started mobile phones as we know and then they, they started um it was a night call or something like that when they called me and they told me that someone they were waiting for a doctor to come i don't know if it was shika now or Barodico, one of the medical um places and the person had had a, they mentioned the vertebra the ones that were crushed or something so they were waiting for someone either someone to come from India or something of that sort and they said there is this gentleman again I made up my mind list I failed and failed till my ego died 
in the year that King Uzziah died, there is something that must die for you to see. For as long as your purpose of ministering the anointing is to prove a point, you carry your ego and it blocks the power of God. Something must die. I got to a point where I said, if nobody gets healed, I will keep praying for people. My ego was stung and stung till there was nothing. If you're on the ground, there's nowhere to fall again. Usually that is the point you see his power. Because now the excellency of power will be of God. I remember, now looking from today, I do not know, I can't tell if I really, I don't know what kind of faith and courage would have entered me. True story. I picked the phone and this, I think it was a woman, I remember. She was wearing a, a neck collar and it was a complicated situation. And I remember holding the phone, it was in the night. I said, Madam, in the name of Jesus, I want to pray for you. And I boldly told her, after all, I said it many times and it failed. I said, I will keep saying it while I learn. I didn't know that that day would be different. Five minutes to your lifting, it will still not look like it. You just continue. I held that phone and I told her, I said, I'm going to pray for you. I prayed a simple prayer, no sermon, no long stories, a simple prayer. And I told her, remove your neck. And this woman removed her neck collar. And the only thing I remember hearing was that she ran and shouted, Jesus. And that was it. By the next day, you know how they come to people's homes, like burial, burial has happened. That was how people, if I did not see the x-ray, the son had to come, the father, the husband now of the woman, when he heard his wife was healed, these are not unverified stories. He did not believe it's impossible until he came and saw his wife. They brought me the x-ray before, after. I said, that's right, truly spiritual power works. Let me tell you this. I remember that time when that news broke out in Shika here. The number of nurses and doctors that began to call. Please, I have a pain here. I've not shared it with anybody. So I now found out people have problems. But they will hide it for as long as they suspect you will waste their time. The day they find what looks like genuine answer. They will open up their scars sincerely. The reason why it looks like men are not placing a demand upon your grace is nobody wants to open the deepest secrets of their pain when they know you will not solve it. That's why a patient can go to a doctor and somebody old enough to be that doctor's father, you will still pull for surgery. You will still, and you will not be ashamed because you know the doctor will take care of you. If they say, turn around, let them inject you, you will not say, I'm embarrassed, I'm a woman, you're a man. That is none of the doctor's business. You want to be healed of malaria, you do what he's asking you to do. The reason why people cover up and don't speak is because it looks like in the church, they, they, are, they are tired of just saying amen without power. But the good news is that he's restoring again. God himself is restoring ancient mantles and is restoring genuine spiritual power. How will we go to the nations of the earth and preach Jesus to a bedeviled world that has several options? No. The Bible says Philip preached Christ in Samaria, Acts chapter 8 from verse 5. He says the people gave heed in one accord, with one accord, hearing and seeing, verse 6, the miracles which he did. Hearing and seeing. In the kingdom we hear and we see. We do not just hear, we see. I made up my mind that for as long as I am alive, and Koinonia hear me, for as long as you are part of this apostolic and prophetic ministry, it will take more than revelation. You must contend for this third dimension, the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit is not for Joshua Selman. This promise is unto you and to your children, your children's children, even as many as are far off, those that the Lord will call. When it has to do with the power of the Holy Ghost, great grace was upon them all. It's time to start going to your families. It's time to go to your, maybe your, your rooms, your offices, and now begin to manifest as light and salt indeed. This talk, we keep talking and shouting amen for nothing must come to an end. Can I tell you the truth? Everybody you see that God used mightily in Zaria, 
for those of you who just came to Zaria not long ago the heritage that you celebrate in Zaria came about by the stories that you are hearing different stories from different men of God at points of encounters and the corresponding power that came upon their lives my prayer is that Zaria will not stop remaining a training ground. This is a place where people came as ordinary people. I remember those days you will see tiny ladies in the cold. They will wear their stockings and carry their rechargeable in the night on their way to long tennis courts. Then most people will not know it now. But you will see them with their tiny voices for hours praying in the spirit. Later on you find out that that tiny girl has now become a campus fellowship president. Fire like you will see somebody looking so small. But you sit under that kind of anointing. The service will finish, you will not even know. There is a generation that is losing out on the patterns. Celebrating all kinds of things. It's not by going online. It's not by doing all of these things. You must stay. The ministry of prayer. Many years ago in Zaria, night time was a time of small recreation that graduates into prayer. People gathered together and the gist was still spiritual talk it was not just like it was nonsense you start talking sharing things questions and from there before you know it people get into the zone of prayer that is how the mighty were made precious people do not lose that pattern you lose that pattern you will see the darkness and onslaught you see all this armed robbery and kidnapping that is happening in Zaria do not sit helpless as if you can do nothing you do not know that the people who do these things negotiate with the spirit to embolden them to come out and manifest. Nobody unassisted has that kind of courage to watch another human being and kill the person. No. Until the saints rise and begin to define the realities that happen within your spiritual borders. In the name of Jesus for darkness, that thus far have you come, no further shall you come shall you go i remember times when we had to stay and pray certain things out of this region you would hear crisis happening around kaduna state and the rest and while we're interceding for that one to stop we'll stand and declare that it shall not be he says i will stand upon my watch and i will set myself upon the tower now the challenge is that many people are only praying one over three will not get the job done you see where the mistake is because it is the excellency of the word in you that helps you to pray effectively now many people ignore the word they ignore the power of the holy spirit and all people do is to pray and it is largely praying amiss a dissipation of intense spiritual energy but very little result there must be this tripartite balance is someone understanding this he is brooding over every darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness the holy ghost is brooding over every darkness causing light to shine from darkness hear me before students get admission whether to abu or the polytechnic anywhere we used to pray in advance before they arrive we begin to pray and intercede father they are coming from several families they are welcome regardless whether it's from a family of idolatry you send them here some of them as soon as they land from day one they step into a church having a program just to stroll not knowing that prayer had been put to direct them and some of those people later became fellowship presidents some of them today are men and women of God serving the purposes of God but it is not just limited to producing pastors there were people who it was the church that showed them their direction today they are entrepreneurs advancing the kingdom in many regards they came from a family of low self-esteem came from villages of all sorts but when they sat down under a teaching priest line upon line a sound exegesis of scripture they now began to understand who they were in christ and the possibilities that would come by reason of this way life and things began to change never lose that pattern if you're a campus fellowship president here hear me whilst you study and do what you do remember that you have an assignment do not leave this region without replacing yourself no 
Otherwise, the devil will be patient and allow a group of vibrant, serious people to leave. And then you will find out that all that is left is nothing to write home about spiritually. This is what you see happening in many circles. Vibrant people, but there is no succession. No raising men and women of fire. It is the reason why you see us continue to invest in training. Because for as long as Jesus lives, this place will remain a training ground where God is raising people. You see these are little children. Some of them were dedicated right here. And now you see them as small as they are. While we are praying, they are joining to pray too. Watch what happens to them by the time they become teenagers. They will be light years. They would outdo the things, the little that we have done. And that's how it's supposed to be. Let me charge you before we pray finally. Parents, you have a role to play in preserving this revival. Young people, you have a role to play in preserving this revival. Ministers of the gospel, we have a role to play. Businessmen, we have a role to play. This is a time where everybody must put his hands on deck from Zaria and around Zaria to the ends of the earth. Jesus must be revealed and Jesus must be glorified. We will never allow darkness to prevail. We will never allow decadence, kidnapping, assassination. Right now, people cannot go home freely in the night again. What kind of thing is that? Because some teenager somewhere under the influence of a wicked demonic spirit. Let's submit our prayer request. And then we'll do the impartation. We've taken time. Please begin to pray in the spirit right where you are and submit your prayer request to the person at the left or the right aisle seated to you. Any one of them, preferably maybe the left. Please submit your prayer request while you pray. All the overflows, those outside, those across. Please make sure you attend to those who are around Second Equa. Make sure that they are given an opportunity to submit their request. Submit your request while you pray. The Bible says to be anxious for nothing. It says, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Oh Lord, set my heart on fire for you, for you. Oh Lord, will you put my life in order for you, for you? I want to know you, Lord. I want to know your ways Oh Lord Set my heart on fire for you For you Oh Lord Set my life in honor for you I want to know you, Lord. I want to know your ways. Just one prayer request. Father, I am available to be used mightily by you. I pray that you will use me like never before. Open your mouth and pray. Whether in ministry, whether as a lecturer, whether as a student, whether as a husband, a wife, a father, a son, a daughter, a career person, a professional, open your mouth and pray. I am available. I am available. I am available in the name of Jesus. I am available by the power of the Holy Ghost. I am available. As you raise mighty men and women, as you anoint men for this end time kingdom assignments, 
I am available find a vessel in me in the name of Jesus Christ now pray and declare I obtain grace to be prayerful I obtain grace to be systemic even in my prayer I obtain grace to be a student of scripture are you praying I obtain grace by the power of the Holy Ghost to listen to scripture to listen to teachings I obtain grace to speak the word faith declarations that speak and program possibilities over my life declare the power of the Holy Ghost upon my life the power of the Holy Ghost upon my ministry the power of the Holy Ghost upon my family the power of the Holy Ghost upon my body the power of the Holy Ghost upon my children is someone pray the power of the Holy Ghost upon my academics the power of the Holy Ghost upon my career in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare it is not by power not by might it is by the Spirit hallelujah hallelujah so this is how it works when the power of the Holy Spirit comes upon you the Bible says Christ is revealed as the wisdom of God and it is revealed is revealed as the power of God when the anointing comes upon you it can translate to wisdom guiding you to know what to do and it can translate to the force that corrects every anomaly in your life hallelujah our time is gone we're going to spend just about maybe five minutes max ten by the grace of God I like you when you're ready with the request please bring them and then I will speak over your life I promised yesterday that I was going to pray for the sick we may not have time to take testimonies unfortunately because of our time but I will speak over your life then I'll pray over the request we'll do the final impartation and then we are done but hear me ladies and gentlemen if there is anything about this life that you are seeing I'm a product of God's grace but it is also because I place value on the power of God the ministry of strategic prayer being built by the word and then embracing the engracing the ever increasing empowerment of the spirit because you see yesterday's excellence will be tomorrow's mediocrity just because you received fire yesterday does not mean it will suffice for the rest of your life some of you you are here you came for this meeting yesterday and today weary dried up in your spirit but the Bible says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high then the wilderness will be counted for a fruitful ground vine and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest. There is no limit to what the Holy Spirit is able to do. I see several of you just standing across as far as you can get. Wherever you are, I want you to release your faith as I pray. You will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. Truly you will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your I'd like you to stretch your hands towards this request as we pray this is the most accurate representation of the needs of everyone Jesus said it is the sick that need the doctor some of these needs here represented are life-threatening issues some of these issues represented here are issues of shame and embarrassment I'd like you to declare these that I see these Egyptians 
I see them no more forever. I'm going to bow my knees to pray. You don't kneel, you just pray. Just for two minutes to lay my hands upon them. Everybody, whether you are outside, you are following from across the globe, stretch your hands and begin to pray. Pray in the spirit and decree and declare. says unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come in the name of Jesus I bow my knees in partnership with all the graces here represented and we declare under this corporate anointing that every request that has been placed before the Lord here let it become your testimonies now shout a louder amen let it become your testimonies now in the name of Jesus every life-threatening situation here i decree and declare you become a testimony now every spirit that is back of the tragedies here represented by the blood of the eternal covenant we curse you and we declare a release for god's people and finally in the name of jesus prophetically i stand upon this request every challenge that has risen above you we bring it under your feet we bring it under your feet we bring it under your feet in the name of jesus christ now very quickly everywhere inside or outside i want you to place your hand if you came here sick or you brought someone sick lay your hands we're out of time but i have to do this lay your hands where you are trusting god for a miracle if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and you can stand in for someone it doesn't have to be for yourself there's someone that comes to mind you can stand in to receive from them for them the centurion stood for his son jario stood for his daughter i sent my word and it healed your disease I am the Lord, your healer. Place your hand there. I want to pray for you. He gave us the power and the authority to declare upon the sick and that they be healed. Now in the name of Jesus, every spirit and every devil of infirmity that has plagued families plagued destinies in the name of jesus christ and by the blood of the eternal covenant i command that that spirit leaves your body now i command that that spirit leaves your body now now i declare to you in the name of jesus be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed now be healed now my god there's such a strong healing anointing be healed now i condition be healed now ear conditions be open now bone conditions 
in the name of Jesus be corrected now blood conditions genotype issues all kinds of blood conditions be healed now be healed now fibroids and all kinds of malignant growths in the name of Jesus be healed now we command that those growths die and dissolve from your bodies in the name of Jesus Christ cancer and any cancer related case we command that cancer cell to die now every genotype you desire change I declare that it changes supernaturally now back pain severe back pain let it be healed right now there's someone you have very severe pain one of your molars in fact it's, it's almost like you have is a cavity problem but it's it's an advanced state there's severe pain you can literally choke something in there in the name of Jesus let that teeth be supernaturally filled now there is there is a man here your situation this is something that that relates to men and this thing has affected you and affected your marriage I declare in the name of Jesus let there be supernatural restoration for you now supernatural restoration now in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone who is suffering from pile pile very painful pile sometimes you are not able to go to the toilet in the name of Jesus be healed right now and anyone here appointed unto death we declare and declare that your life is lengthened by the Spirit of God every ailment whether every ailment whether I mentioned it or not be healed from it now be healed from it in the name of Jesus and for all those you are standing in for I declare that the power of God touches them right where they are in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy over your life in the name of Jesus every door that has been closed over you I command that door to be opened now God has declared unto us that this is our year of open doors I declare doors be opened now in the name of Jesus for those who are students I prophesy upon you extraordinary intelligence by the Spirit extraordinary intelligence by the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ and for anyone here who has been going through patterns and circles of demonic activities witchcraft and all kinds of satanic manipulations you are hereby delivered forever you are hereby delivered forever you are hereby delivered forever in the name of Jesus Christ I declare over Zaria the reign of wickedness witchcraft the activities of evil people let it come to an end right now we make decrees this is by the decree of the watchers by the power of the Holy Ghost this environment becomes unconducive for any satanic activity in the name of Jesus we pray for all the churches that are represented here in Zaria every church represented let there be fresh fire upon the altars in the name of Jesus Christ Zaria remains a place of salvation remains a place of training remains a place of revival in the name of Jesus Christ I declare over your finances by the power of the Holy Spirit let the grace called favor rest upon you let the grace called favor rest upon you let the grace called favor
rest upon you let the grace called favor rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. now the final impartation I want to pray for you you don't have to bring anyone out if anyone is under the anointing just guide them we don't have that time now but I want to pray there will always be people who are called to take there are many empty positions in the spirit in Zaria because many people have moved and some of those positions are crying for men and women who will stand and continue what is being done you see the days of superstar Christianity of one person trying to is over the Lord is raising as many not just one person you know and all of that because if only a few people are there they stand the risk of suffering pride and temptation and once they fall out of the way that's the end of it when God raises many people it is beneficial even for those who are there because it takes away the tendency to be tempted with pride and to believe I'm the only one hallelujah there are many people who are rising from the campuses to the various churches I just want to release this grace upon you and it will rest upon you because for some of you this grace will quicken you into a place of retreat for some of you this grace will quicken you to a place of prayer some of you this grace will come to activate many possibilities right now in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the Spirit inside all the overflows overflow three two one the extension at the count of three I decree and declare the grace and the mantle that is required for this season in the name of Jesus Christ receive it right now one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now I activate that grace the spirit of prayer and supplication receive it right now receive it right now the mantle of a prayer warrior the grace to pray and pray down revival receive it in the name of Jesus Christ the spirit of revelation access to light from scripture I release that anointing upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ I stir up the prophetic and the apostolic every dumb and grace the eyes that see and the ears that hear may that grace be quickened from within you now I decree and declare kingdom financiers rising with the dignity of kingdom integrity received apakatoshka embraketaskotepa i release that grace saria you shall not lack may god raise men with the dignity of kingdom integrity that will supply resources for kingdom advance in the name of jesus christ i pray concerning the worshipers those called into the ministry of psalmistry prophetic psalmistry whether you are inside or outside I stir up that grace after the order of David receive that mantle now receive that apakatoskata preke parakoskaya manta preke tasyata songs of the spirit songs of the spirit receive it in the name of Jesus I pray for all those who are being raised by God to be the next lecturers the next career people in the name of Jesus let the spirit of excellence rest upon you let the spirit of excellence rest upon you let the spirit of excellence rest upon you in the name of Jesus let the spirit of excellence rest upon you There are some of you here by age 30 you are already professors in the name of Jesus such a display of unusual excellence a level of mental acumen as has never been seen I pray for every family here represented let no family in Zaria let no family here represented lack a priest that can rise in that family in the name of jesus christ 
and hear me if there is any of your loved one who is not saved whether your brother whether your sister whether your spouse whether your child whether your parents we agree right now as the church of the lord jesus christ beginning from tonight may the spirit of god begin to convict them even unto salvation convict them even unto righteousness in the name of jesus christ finally the spirit of bloodshed the spirit of untimely death over and around this region Parakatos Kadibalata in the name of Jesus Christ we declare that that reproach is rolled over Zaria rolled over the body of Christ for in Jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah now listen very carefully there are thousands of people scattered across this place and thousands others following online I want you to lend me your attention this is my last night with you for now and I want to make an altar call you know what an altar call is an altar call is a moment of genuine surrender and reception of the life of Jesus please no movement minimize movement inside and all the overflows you've been here and whilst you heard me speak the Holy Ghost began to convict you that you are that champion that God is raising that you are that person that God wants to greatly use but you see everything in this kingdom starts with God Jesus is the way I told you earlier on there are some of you who have never truly surrendered your heart in truth you have not made that determined decision to begin a walk with God or there are those who for whatever reason your life has gone haywire and you want to rededicate your life in this auditorium and all the overflows listen to me the Bible says in the day that you hear his voice do not harden your heart Jesus Christ is giving you an opportunity to make it right I'm going to count one to five like I did yesterday all those who are within this auditorium who are saying apostle I want to make it right with Jesus and in truth I'm going to be inviting you to come and stand here and then if the space is still available maybe a few more from outside who are coming can stand once this space is filled up you may move to your LED your various LED screens now for those who are scattered down to second equa you may want to take advantage of overflow 2 or overflow 3 or overflow 4 you can use any one of them but I'm going to count 1 to 5 leave your seat wherever you are and come and stand to make it right with Jesus I begin my counting now one celebrate them as they come make sure you don't sit back when the Holy Ghost is speaking to you come he's able to give you a new life hallelujah let's celebrate them they are coming from everywhere outside inside Nina is Bazankoma, Bazankoma, Baya, Nina, yes, Bazankoma, Bazankoma, Baya, Nasa, Hanuna, Akanke, Kenoma, Bazankoma, I belong to Jesus, never going back, never going back, some, some. Nina, yes, ne bazan ko ba, bazan ko ba ba ya. Thank you so much for making this noble decision. It's the wisest decision any man can make under the sun. Hallelujah. Please, ushers, help those who are outside to move right to the LED screens and let your attention be on the screens as I lead you to pray. It is a marvelous thing to see souls come to Jesus. Nothing compares to it. No kind of miracle compares to the miracle of a saved life by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Bible declares that there is no other name under heaven given unto man by which we must be saved. That whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord that person shall be saved thank you very much for making this noble decision ladies and gentlemen the Bible says whoever will come to Jesus young old rich poor
that you will in no wise cast away the front is filled up please the remaining people can now join those in front if he's filled up they can take advantage of any of the overflows praise the name of the lord thank you very much may i request all who have come out indicating the desire for salvation please lift your right hand high above your head your right hand everywhere and for those who are following whether you are following from the us from europe from africa some state in nigeria in the silence of your room your living room probably you are watching by way of rebroadcast this is an opportunity to make jesus lord of your life as i lead them to pray i want you to repeat that prayer not just as a poem or a chant but a declaration of faith and the bible declares that salvation will be administered to you say this after me say lord jesus one more time say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for my sin i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior my lord and my king and i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am a child of god i walk in the newness of life amen father in the name of jesus i thank you for these ones by the authority of scripture i declare their sins forgiven and in the name of jesus i call you bona fide recipients of the life of god i declare that you are the righteousness of god in christ jesus and in the name of jesus the life of god is ministered to you right now the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life i commend you to the word of god and even to the ministry of the holy spirit may you be grounded and established in righteousness you go forward ever and backward never satan has no hold over your life for in the mighty name of jesus we pray and the church say a loud amen. amen now very quickly ladies and gentlemen i want to encourage you to just move to the back there are counselors waving their hands there are quite a number of you you'll just move in concert they will have a word with you very quickly and then you'll be back to your seat any of the aisles you can use your left or right any of them will take you to the same place may god bless you let's honor them let's honor them very quickly hallelujah koinonia is this the best you can do hallelujah in the name of jesus christ i want to thank all the pastors all the leaders parents and all those who have come to grace are coming and this this moment this, this hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain 